Hello, friends. This is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And if you are uh, new to this episode, do hit the like button, the share button, the subscribe button, and uh, let me know what you guys think as well at the end. Now, I gotta say, guys, there's a lot of cool things going around Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. One, we got Boba Fett gonna be the login character for the month of November. Pretty excited about that. Specifically, now that we've seen some really cool things from, uh, what's that one show that's pretty freaking awesome? It's got uh, that baby Yoda guy. The freaking Mandalorian. Now that we've seen some awesome stuff from the Mandalorian, now I'm going to warn you right now, there might be a few spoilers here, but I'll keep them pretty simple. This, this first episode of season two takes place entirely on Tatooine. Boba Fett died on Tatooine. A lot of people are speculating that there may be an entirely rework to who else but the Tusken Raiders. Now, I got to point out, ladies and gentlemen, that for those of you who don't think that the Tusken Raiders have a legitimate reason to exist, uh, I must point you in the direction of Urzatron, who showed us that not only do they have a reason to exist, they're maybe overpowered, right? I'm just, just saying they're pretty freaking dominant. But here's what really makes me wonder, right? Yeah, Boba Fett login character of the game usually that has something to do with something for that month right and maybe it's something as simple as you know boba fett was on tatooine bounty hunters you showed up the mandalorian was on tatooine episode took place in tatooine it's all coincidental maybe maybe it's not Now, if you go over here and you look at the data mined information, we have this little bitty thing that was actually leaked, uh, or data mined, not leaked, but data mined, on the 16th of October. And that was three new character bundles. Now, here's the thing. We do have two new characters that were just introduced. IG-11 and Quill. Very excited. They should be coming out later this month. Very stoked to see them in action. Will they have character bundles around them? Of course they will, because that's how they make their money. But here's the other thing, too, right? We got this guy scrolling down. Brand new information just came out today. Daily characters 5, 6, and 7. So, are these daily character packs going to be connected to? I don't know. But here's what I got to point out. Yes, Tusken Raiders are going to get some much-needed love. Here are possibly five Tusken Raiders we could be getting, not only with reworks, but we could actually be getting added to the game. Okay, you guys ready for this? Now, I am taking this information from the Season one, season 2, Episode 1 of The Mandalorian. So if you haven't seen it yet, uh, take a stop right now and check it out. It's pretty freaking amazing. Say the first Tusken that I absolutely want to see added to the game is the dog. I don't actually want this character to be associated with another character. I just want him to be the dog. Now, if there has to be a Tuscan with the dog, I'm fine with that. I think that it would be pretty cool. You get a Tuscan, he's got some, like, I don't know, basic ability, but he calls in, much like the Geonosian Brute Alpha, a freaking dog with spikes and his hardcore A. F. I think that would be awesome. Now, the dog would be all about attacking, whereas, you know, Tuscan, Tusk, uh, the Geonosian Brood Alpha's kind of got like a really good, he's, I don't know, he's got a good attack, but he's also got a great defense, mostly for defense. I think this would be very attack friendly. Maybe a dog pack, and the dog acts kind of like, I don't know, B1 battle droid. That would be pretty sweet. So, like, you can kill as many dogs as you want. Um, but I, they just keep coming back. Now, the, the key here, though, is if you do get a dog, his weakness? Belly rubs. Uh, these dogs just love belly rubs. What dog doesn't love belly rubs? Now, again, I, I would really hope that the dog comes alone. But it would make sense to have a Tuscan who calls the dog. Uh, who's not necessarily a leader, but, you know. A handler, dog handler, a canine 
buddy, I don't know how that would work out, but the dog needs to be added to the game. Yes! Two. Tusken Raider with Big A Crossbow. Now, without going too much into the episode, there's a moment when the Tuskens need to retrieve a, a, a being, a, something of value from deep within a Sarlacc pit. Now, that is incredibly misleading for those of you who haven't seen the episode. But for those of you who have, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So they take this this crossbow and they fire it. They just fire it into this hole, this Sarlacc pit, to grab the thing of great importance out. And I think it'd be really cool. Now, it is definitely used as a weapon. It's not just like a retrieval device. It's not like a claw that just gets sent in. One of those gaming claws. That would suck. But how cool would it be to have something like that? Again, we kind of have that mechanic in the game. We've seen it with the assassin droids uh, that we play against and some of these uh, events, these battles that we've been fighting against. It would be really cool to see someone who's a fairly slow attacker, but when they do hit, do crazy amounts of damage. Um, and the more Tuscans there are, the more likely they are to, or the higher their speed goes. I don't know, but that would be cool. Now, I've got two others, and these I just kind of like threw on because I don't think anyone's going to like be familiar with them. And the first character that I want to bring up uh, is someone that no one really cares about. Now, his name is Sherrod Het. Now, for those of you who don't know, Sherrod Het was actually, it's not pronounced Sherrod, it's actually pronounced Jared Het. Uh, now, Jared Het was a, a former Jedi who, uh, Master Eth Koth, maybe we finally get a connection with Eth Koth. Don't, I mean, uh, we get this moment. But so, so he's from the Outer Rim. He doesn't, he doesn't really fit into the gal, to the, to the, to the Jedi. And so he's like, look, Master Eth Koth. Um, he was talking to one of the masters. He's like, look, man, I, uh, not feeling it. Not uh, not really feeling the Jedi, and so the Jedi is like, "All right, go, go do your thing, man, and and go, you know, go back and go, go be free." But he gets to back to his home planet, and like everyone's dead, and that turns him crazy. And eventually, he goes and lives with the Tuskens, right? It's this whole weird thing, right? He becomes like the Tuscan, I don't want to say Messiah, but like the Tuscan Jedi savior of sorts. I might be a little murky on the backstory of this character, even though it's right here in front of me. Uh, but still, it's very possible. Um, now, additionally, if you were not getting Jared Het, a Shard Het would be awesome. Now, a lot of people might know him as Darth Crate. I like to think of him as he is referred to lovingly by the Tuskens as a Jared Het, right? Because they already had one Jared Het. He was like the original Jared Het. This is a Jared Het, which then implies that there's two of them. So essentially, Jared Het is like, a Jared Het is like, oh, hey, I my dad is a, a good guy. Screw that. I'm going to go in the opposite direction because I'm a teenager and I like to rebel. And I'm going to be a bad guy. And how does he decide to be a bad guy? Well, he decides to be a bad guy by killing and mutilating crate dragons. Uh, and with every crate dragon that he kills and mutilates, he puts on like their body parts as armor. He eventually goes crazy because of it. It's a whole thing. Um, you can get a more accurate version of Jared Het and a Jared Het here on uh, Wikipedia. Love this website. It's freaking awesome. Um, long story short, he gets defeated by a Skywalker. It all fits in, guys. This all makes so much sense. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. And I think that this is very possible. Now, the one that I'm, I'm hoping for. On the episode, uh, those of you who were able to join us on the watch party, or if you were to follow us on the live stream... Uh, when we uh, was talking nerdy, uh, we talked about Steve the Tuscan. 
Now, Steve the Tuscan is a Tuscan Raider who takes his Bantha and uh, goes up to, you know, uh, draw out a crate dragon. It's part of the episode. It's actually really a cool part. Um, he does a hey, 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 uh, noise and uh, then runs off, leaving the Bantha. The problem is Steve the Tuscan runs straight. And I made this point on Talking Nerdy or Talking Mando. You don't run straight when something is coming at you. You zigzag. You serpentine. You move to your right. And that's not what happened. And Steve the Tuscan gets et. Now, I think this is what happens. They introduce Steve the Tuscan, and uh, when he dies, a bantha appears in his place. And you have to defeat the bantha to, to win. Now, the bantha doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't attack. doesn't do anything. It's just there. It could come down to the fact that it's most likely just Cobb Vanth being added to the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes characters, the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes list. I would love to see that. I would love to see another character in Mandalorian armor who's not technically a Mandalorian. Plus, Cobb Vanth is super sweet. What do you guys think? Let me know in the section below. Are we going to get some Oscan Tuscan, awesome Tuscan Raiders, awesome Tuscan characters, some much needed Tuscan love added to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes? Or are we going to get characters like Cobb Vanth? I don't necessarily know. Fingers crossed for Tuscan Steve uh, or, our sh or a Jared Het or just Jared Het. Those both would be really cool. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment in the section below. In the section below, you'll find two links. The first one is very awesome. You can try Audible for two, for one month, two free books. You don't pay a dime, and it is great. Additionally, in the section below, you can check out the latest addition to the Going Nerdy Swag Store, and that is Santa is a Sith. This is right in time for Christmas, as it is right around the corner. Let me know what you guys think. All proceeds go to help the channel, which is just me. And remember, smile and stay nerdy.